It's the NFL on EA Sports. Another exciting matchup just moments away now as we join you from Ralph Wilson Stadium. Well, Phil, we've got a terrific matchup at running back. Two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How do you see it? Well, you know what? It's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games. And, and here's a great example of it today. Uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins. And when you have running backs like this, the more physical team will win. Takes it from the two. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Gets the handle here. Spikes is there to take him down. Let's set the lineup now for the offense. A wide receiver out of Baylor, Kendall Wright, a first-round pick back in 2012. Well, when you talk about Kendall Wright, Jim, the coaches will tell you this. They say he's just a gamer. That means he has talent, he's competitive, and just loves to go out there and gets the job done. The Titans from the 27. Locker hits Kendall Wright with that pass. Tennessee is in the end zone for the touchdown. touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The Titans line up for the point after. And the extra point is good. running this one out stiff arms to stay on his feet and he's tackled right at the 30 yard line after that return They face first down. The Titans will come out in the dime. Manuel's got it in the gun. No one was open. Here's a look at the offense. And if they're going to win today, this group of wide receivers must go vertical. They must open up the game for the offense. Second down here. The Titans lined up in the nickel. Manuel's going to take it from the gun. Makes the catch in the open field. Griffin's there to make the tackle. I think when I was playing, anytime we crossed the 50 yard line, it was kind of like a big sigh of relief because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks. I could uh, afford to be a little. That ball has been picked off. He's brought down. And that's not the start he wanted to get out to with the early interception thrown. Yeah, it's a terrible way to start a game. It's like you and you play your round of golf and that opening drive when you hook that ball out of bounds. What do you got to do? You got to shake it off, come back in there and get it done. 
First down here. Green takes his spot in the backfield. That's right. Touchdown, Titans. Well, you got a lead. Touchdown. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Titans line up for the point after. It's good. Gonna run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down, offense readying for the snap. They've come out in the dime package. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the reception. Has the first fumble. And it's a takeaway. That'll stop the play right there. you got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble. And that time it results in a fumble. First down coming up. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by a surprise, and they just outnumber him, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. Three-step drop. Locker hits Kendall Wright with that pass. Titans are in for the score. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. The Titans line up for the point after. And the point after is good. Lined up now in kickoff formation. Goodwin's going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line and it's first down. The Titans set at the line. Dime package. Out of the gun. On the money. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Titans come out in a dime package. Manual from the gun. Throw to the left. Finds his mark. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. The Titans go with the dime formation here on defense. Way through this first quarter now and the pass incomplete
Let's talk about this defensive unit at cornerback. He is often overlooked. That is Jason McCourty. Well, nobody in the NFL overlooks Jason McCourty. They know how good he has been at corner. He is just one tough guy, very smart, and he just gets it done. Offense lines up here. Hey! Third down and three. Could have been intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have three. one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. Not far from a first down. They're going to go for it. Manual standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap makes the catch in open space That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator fourth down try He makes the right call and they pick up the first down Manuals back in shotgun formation And that's Woodyard in on the stop that's second down coming up Spiller takes his spot in the backfield Manuel's got it in the gun. Graham's going to pull in the bullet pass. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. In his hands, complete touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Bills now will tack on the extra point. Extra point was good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. They'll take it at the 20. First down as they head to the line. Green lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. They'll mark him at the 22. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback's face. After the two yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Right in the slot. Just a quick drop back. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. Right so fast, you have to back off of him. Why? Because you don't want him to run by you and go deep down the field. So that time he breaks the out route, the quarterback puts it right on target, and he makes the catch just short of the first down marker. Jake Locker has it under center. Wright's got the catch and the first. Well, that time it's a short pass to the receiver, and I give him all the credit. He takes a short pass and turns it into a long game. He has the move to get it done, and he did that time. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. And the give to Sean Green. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. This will be second down. Offense lines up here. They want to keep feeding him the football. And he's brought to the ground.
the Titans offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Third down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. They call on Brett Kern to punt the football. miserable place to start this next drive. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Manuel's going to take it from the gun. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach of the receiver so it's easy for him to make the catch and he can protect himself also. And here we have second down. The defense comes out of the dime. The shotgun. Michael Griffin picks off that pass. They bring him to the turf. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? First down here. Receivers are bunched up. Jake Locker back in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. He makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. The ball's deflected incomplete. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Third and seven following the incompletion. Green's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just gotta, gotta make a better decision at the quarterback position. They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven. Takes off with it. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. First down on the way.
Emmanuel from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Finds a little seam. Good job that time by the quarterback. Looks down the field. Nobody open. So he throws the drag route. Coming across the field. And it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. Manual from the gun. And he hauls it in. Keeps his legs moving. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Manual from the gun. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Second and ten. To Williams. Out to Williams. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Third down and two. Eyeing that left side. Right through that hit. Unstoppable. In stride and he's home for the touchdown. It was a short route by the receiver. He catches it and goes all the way down the field and scores the touchdown. And the quarterback looks to the coach and goes, hey, it was a heck of a throw. The point after try is in the books. Ready to boot this one down the field. And Washington's going to test the coverage here. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. That's a gain of seven. Second down now. Jake Blocker has it under center. Takes it out of the eye. And that picks up three. Green's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. On first down, it's back to the ground game. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. And now they'll try over again on second down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Locker's going to take it from the gun. Walker's got it on a pass that had some heat. Number 
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid right, being go. sacked for a third time. Locker's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Going to take it the distance. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL, but a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. First down at the 23. The defense gets a sack. that sack dropped them back nine yards it sets up second down and 19 on this passing down the defense comes out in the nickel the bills are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here it's now second down The Titans with an empty backfield look here. Throws the pass. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Jim, in a situation like this, you just got to be smart. It's third and long. You're winning the football game. Don't take any chances. Don't turn it over. If you punt it, that might be a good thing. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Right, a receiver in the slot. He'll throw it over the middle. Very nearly intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Titans official. Jake Locker's injury isn't a big concern at this point, so he's going to stay on the bench a bit longer just as a precautionary measure. But, guys, he should return. Back to you. Didn't have the distance. Well, next week they might be trying kickers out when they go home because they did not expect to miss that field goal. It comes up way short. They face first down. The Titans with two extra defensive backs in the dive. Manual from the gun. For the deep ball, and they can't connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. They've come out in the dime package. Second down and ten. Thrown incomplete. Third down now. Offense lines up here. CJ Spiller is in the backfield. Manuel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did an awesome job that time. They had the right defense called, and that time the defender almost picked off the pass. Good job by the defense.
Fourth down and ten, and they're going to go for it. The Bills have it at the 39. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. Ah, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Here's the throw, and it's off the mark. Second down after the incompletion. Offense lines up here. They're setting up screen. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. And it's the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game and it's third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Rutgers back in shotgun formation. Falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Offense lines up here. Lockers got it in the gun. Throws to the right. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. The Titans were putting together quite a drive, but they don't finish it off, and they'll turn it over on down. Yeah, it's disheartening. Anytime you do this, you have a good offensive series then you don't convert in a most crucial situation depressing go to the sideline try to correct it first down here the titans defense now loading up expecting pass with a dime defense manuel's gonna take it from the gun he'll fire it out to the left that time the quarterback throws the drag route. It doesn't get a first down, but still it's a good decision by him. The throw was right on target, and it picked up solid yards. Second down after that pass play. Bills take it from the 38 to Williams out to Williams the Bills are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining first down here after the completion Let's see how they back up the big play here. Manual from the gun. Has Watkins. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. The Bills elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. That leads us to second down. Easy, easy kill. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Over, over, over. Easy, easy kill, kill. Easy, easy kill, kill. Easy, easy kill, kill. Easy, easy kill, kill. The Bills snap it at the 31. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Manuel is able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. 
like a dancer, gets himself in very good position to throw the football. Should be an easy one here. The kick is good. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. And Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. They don't want a big return here at the end of the half, so they'll go with the squid kick. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. That does it for the first half. Bills trail in this one. Back now at what is one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL, Ralph Wilson Stadium. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. Goodwin's running this one out. Fights through contact. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start this drive at the 24. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. First down at the 24. Hand off made. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Williams and pick up about four. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Manuel from the gun. And now he'll take off. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and sixth play. Quarters formation here for the defense. They need to get the playoff. Manuel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Has Watkins. Watkins taken down. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. First and ten. Manuel going to take off with it. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Number three. Can't complete the pass. Second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Bills will take the snap from the 40. Looking across the middle, out to Williams. And they are in on Williams. The Bills did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Over, over, over. 
The Bills snap it at the 41. Got the completion. Pollard's there that time for the tackle. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Wasting little time. First and ten. Play fake. My gosh, you're talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both fooled. They get run over and they give up a sack. The Bills snap it at the 31. Looking long. What? Catch. Big first down by the offense. That time here in the second half to lose in a close game and you get that first down it just gives you confidence it opens up the playbook and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. This play set up by the long gainer. Trying to beat the play clock. Manuals back in shotgun formation. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking. And the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. Washington will run this one back. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down, offense readying for the snap. They bring in the extra tight end. Sean Green trying to power his way right up the middle. Second down coming up. Green lined up as the single back. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, I don't know who made the mistake that time. The quarterback or the running backs, they go out of the pass. The blitz comes by the defense. Not enough blockers on the offensive side. And the defense wins out. They take the QB down. Third down and 13. Incomplete. Looking underneath that time. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. So now they'll call on Kern to punt the football. McKelvin from the 27. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. First down coming up. The Titans will come out in the dime. The 
Bills take it from the 38. Manuel over to Spiller. The tackle was made. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Manuel's got it in the gun. Trying to work that left side. Brought down at the 32. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down following the long play. Throws the pass. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. Second down here. The Titans sat at the line. Dime package. He'll take the snap. The first here in the fourth quarter. And they are in on Williams. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback. Just throwing the ball and then and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Third and seven. Pulls it in. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing three for the first. They better hurry to get the staff. Manuel is going to take it from the gun, has his target. He's in for the score. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him break the tackles and score a touchdown. Pretty exciting stuff. The point after is good. The Titans are ready to take it to him. And Washington's going to run this one out. And they're all the 18 yard line they come to the line and it's first down Jake Locker back in shotgun formation gets it out for the completion when you play man to man against this receiver you're going to have a tough time Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The Titans have it at the 29. He'll throw it over the middle. And this will go incomplete. Got a hand on the pass and knocked it away. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Second down following that incompletion. Green takes his spot in the backfield. Locker is going to take it from the gun. Catch made. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. Now first and ten. Anytime you're on the offensive side and you fumble and the defense picks it up and takes it for a long touchdown, wow, that is hard to overcome. So what a job by the defense. Very opportunistic. Take advantage of those situations when they come up. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Bills ready to boot this one down the field.
Washington's going to test the coverage this time. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Right lined up in the slot. It's Kendall Wright with that pass. And that'll close the gap. And we're talking about some of the fastest humans on Earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Titans line up now for the point after. Count it. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Fields the football at the three. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Bills ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. What a spectacular reception. Picks up eight here. And what a catch that time, partner. <laughs> Nothing surprises it more these guys are so talented you're right spectacular kids second and short out to the left reaches out and snatches it you got to be agile when you make these kind of catches one of these short drag routes across the field that time we saw the agility of the receiver nice catch the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The defense comes out of the dime. First down and 10. Flag is out, looking across the middle, and it's broken up incomplete. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. First down here. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Manuel standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Williams. That's a gain of six. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down at the 50. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. Second and 10. Balls picked off. Tackles made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down on the way. Quarterback coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. 
Good job by the offensive coordinator. Call those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can their defense come out and help them out? Going to be a penalty here. That's a nice touchdown there, and you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? And you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The Titans with an extra point try on the way. Driving extra point is good. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Bills are getting set for their next possession. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. First and ten. Throws the pass. Brings it in. McCourty's in on the tackle. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game and also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get their, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got a lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. First and ten. Handoff by Manuel. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Second down following the run. Nickel formation here for the defense. The catch is made. And they advance the ball over the other side of the field. First down here after the completion. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Bills will approach this play from out of the pistol. Set up screen. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Bills signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Now first and ten to the ground. Now makes the move to the right. He's tackled at the 28. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play is going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Second down and two to go after the running play. Manual set in the pistol. Back to him. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. The Titans will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Manuals lining up in the pistol. The Bills snap it at the 31. Pollard's able to swat the pass away. That is so tough to do when you think about it. We got world-class sprinters running down the field, and you're able to stay close to them and reach out with one hand and knock it down. Great play. The Bills lined up for the field goal. Kick is good. And Jim, this guy is just Mr. Automatic. It's not only that he makes them, he usually just puts it right down the middle of the goalpost. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Titans have used all of their timeouts. They'll have to go the rest of the way here in the fourth quarter without one. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Jake Locker down the field, but it's incomplete. This is an almost must convert scenario. Third down coming up here in the late stages. Yes, that's four down territory, but you don't want to face make or break at this point. Yeah, on the defensive side, now it's time for the coach to do his job. Be aggressive. Call a defense that the offense has not seen so far today. If you do that, I think you'll catch them by surprise. Lockers back in shotgun formation. Looking to go deep. And intercepted. Nice job of the defense at time. In position. They read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They face first down. 
Watkins lined up now as a slot receiver. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First down at the 20. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Picks up about two. They return to the red zone with the lead late in the game. Now, this is about managing the football game here. You, of course, you want to uh, move the football, get another first down, try to work the clock, and you got to call plays that keeps the defense off balance. Watkins is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and eight. They'll fall on the services of C.J. Spiller. And that'll be a gain of about two. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Manuel's setting up now in the pistol. Gives it to him again. That picks up seven. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match.